announcement came for good old number 10. I am so happy to tell you that the committee has elected the newest member of the National Baseball Hall of Fame, Ron Santo. <laughs> well, thanks, I guess. Uh, you can listen to Mike North every Sunday night at 9 right here. Our visit brought to you in part by Altoff Industries, residential heating and cooling. Good morning, Mike. How are Hello. you? Hello. How are you, John? Hi, Amy. How you doing? Well, help me out here, because uh -huh. Ron Santo, great guy. We all, you know, anyone who knew him loved him, but his stats were borderline at best by Hall of Fame standards, mm -hmm. so why now? Well, everybody that knew him didn't love him. I mean, that's the documentary WGN and the Cubs will never show. I oh. mean, in 1969, when uh, the Mets were chasing them, uh, he'd win a game, and they'd have to watch as he clicked his heels in front of the opposition running down the left field line. I mean, people f forever have documented that, uh, but you never saw it on this old Cub. And if you don't, oh, you did see it on this old Cub, but they never put the correlation. Well, there's so much showboating now. I mean, who really... You because in 1969, there wasn't showboating like, they, like he was doing. Okay. Who runs down the field in front of the opposition? after a win now and clicks their heels. Can you imagine the Bears losing to somebody and the guy scores a touchdown? Now they dance in the end zone. But I'm talking running uh -huh. to the locker room and clicking your heels. Now, Amy, I, I, this is nothing I didn't tell Ron. I interviewed Ron Santo many times, and I loved Ron Santo. But I think Ron knew that there were some people that didn't want him in, some veterans, okay? Also, like you said, his statistics, stats were borderline. But on top of that, guys, we have the 85 Bear question again. They won one time. How many 85 Bears are going to have? The Cubs never won. And you have Jenkins, you have Williams, you have Banks, and now you have Santa, which begs the question, how many more are you going to put on for a team that never won anything? So when we're, he's revered in Chicago, apparently you have 15 years to make the Hall of Fame, and they added a special gold committee to this Veterans Committee, basically, to push it through. And I know this for a fact. Ron Santo... I heard, I read something today that he's clicking his heels in heaven. No, he's not. He didn't want it this way. He wanted to get in, and if people saw his number mm -hmm. being retired, he said, this is my Hall of Fame because I'm going to see this. Uh, and, you know, it's a feel-good thing to say, oh, he's upstairs watching and he's happy. I'm not sure because he told me straight up that he wanted to get in while he was alive. And, uh, and that's just the way I'm looking at it. So there's a, it's a lot of factors, not just one, that stopped him from getting in for so long. That mm -hmm. being said, congratulations to Ron and uh, to the Santo family. It does uh, add to his legacy. What about our friend Minnie Minosa? He's Who's never going to get in. Never I've, get never, in. I've never heard anybody say, how about that Minoso? I mean, around the country. How can Minnie Minoso not get in? What if he comes back and plays one more game well, this coming season? I loved him when he tried to play, and Jack McDowell, the player rep at the time, said no, and yeah. he stopped his decade-long <laughs> yeah. thing. He was, he was, and he'd be playing. He could dig in right now. I know. Yeah. I mean, Minnie's great, but I don't believe, you know, when you go around the country, you know, you, you say, how about this guy, how about that guy? And somebody goes, how about Minnie Minoso? And they go, well, what country he is, is he president of? I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's been so long. Yeah. Yeah. It really has. But, I well, mean, congrats to Ronnie. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I, 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 I must agree with you, however, and say that it was, it was if, if he didn't get in legitimately, I agree that he probably would not be celebrating today. No. I'm John. I'm telling you right now. Now, the Santo family and Jeff and his son and, and you know what? It adds. They'll, have, they'll bring up maybe something else. I think that uh, Ron Santo, it would have been served to Ronnie better, and he never brought it. He brought it up every so often. And yeah. Jim, Ronnie used to joke about, hey, you know what? I, I'm moving around pretty good for a guy with one leg. I mean, he would he would use his handicap to help uh, peep other people out by saying nothing can stop you. And Ronnie's competitive spirit sometimes went overboard, which rubbed people the wrong way well I even his understand. teammates even mm -hmm. his teammates when he yelled at that don young guy yeah, in 1969 brutal. and blamed him for a lost i think to the mets if i'm not mistaken yeah, absolutely i mean that that painted him in a bad light he even was back the in those captain days. of the team and mm -hmm. buried the kid and the kid yeah. never recovered and i mm -hmm. understand that i don't know if he's still with us but don young ended up as a custodian in an arizona yeah. public school mm -hmm. after ron santo uh basically i'm not going to blame ron santo for that but it sure did not help the kid's self-confidence who's trying to make it in the major leagues when the captain of the team and that's a good point, John, buries him yeah. in front of everybody, and it was in all the newspapers. Speaking quickly here, because we're running out right. of time, but speaking of a kid's confidence, Caleb Haney, uh, I know Lovey Smith says he's our quarterback. I've heard that before. Mm -hmm. are, the, are the Bears looking around? Uh, they got to be, but, I mean, I heard where Brett Favre now is interested. 
Brett Favre said he'd talk to the Bears. McNabb's out there. Here's what I would tell everybody is that Caleb Haney has had two opportunities. If they're serious about winning, uh, you know what? You better get serious now. And I would ask this question of the day, John, which would be on North to North on Facebook. My question of the day is, would you rather have Tebow next year play quarterback for you or Jay Cutler? For Chicago Bear fans, because Tebow's and, and, and that is an interesting question because mm. there's one or two guys left that wow. don't believe in him, and those two guys are in talk show hell. <laughs> they are. You know what talk show hell is, guys, don't you? You keep sticking to a point that you have no chance of winning, yeah. and the guy keeps proving you wrong. And I learned this my first or second year. How long can I keep it up? I mean, because this kid's giving me a beating, and sooner or later you got to admit you're wrong. Otherwise, you're in talk show hell, and there's some people in talk show hell because you know, of the, Tim Tebow. The guy's got some talent. There's no doubt about yeah, that. Absolutely, guys. Thank you, sir. Hey, you guys take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Mike North here, AM560, WDIND. We're at 7.53. Flood Brothers Disposal and uh, Recycling Services are professional waste haulers. Now, the Flood family is big on service. It's our number one priority, and we offer extremely competitive pricing because the Flood family is here to help you in this tough economy. Remember, at Flood Brothers, we build relationships. And the only thing we're big on is service. Call us at 773-626-5800 or floodbrothersdisposal.com.